this kind of speaks to the heart of why I had wanted you to come on the show. Uh, Cause these are the questions I'm getting all the time. So you said HRV. Yeah. Uh, I think pretty much all, all of the well-recognized recognized brands uh, out there right now are tracking HRV. What is HRV and how do we yeah. interpret that data? And then we'll, then we'll cherry pick a few others that I think are very common ones that people get confused about. Yeah. I mean, there's a lot of features across wearables yeah. in general. Um, so there's a lot to learn, especially if you're new to them. But I guess let's start with um, HRV. So heart rate variabil variability. <laughs> I can even speak. Heart rate um, variability. Yeah. Thank you. Um, so this, how this works is it's measuring specific changes in time between your heartbeat. And this is typically measured while you're at rest. So you will see this um, within your sleep data. And that's where on our Garmin wearables, it's being captured today is, is the heart rate, the HRV is being measured in between. So this is a very personalized metric. And it's not mm. something that should really be compared with others. So over time, your watch is going to start to collect this information in the evening and start to, or while you're sleeping, and start to give you a value for this. Um, and then that becomes an average. Um, so the average overnight. So now you're starting to have this, this number. And then we take that and we look at a week. Um, and from there, it's looking at the, I guess, the, the main thing to think about is that it's looking at the changes within your heartbeat and and that changes depending on what you're doing each day that could be physical even mental stress activities it could be recovery that you're doing i just saw a huge jump in my hrv go way up because i took a nice relaxing vacation last week mm. so i didn't have the physical and mental stress of the hard workouts i was doing and even just work in general. And I saw my HRV go up in the value.